give me some sugar. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do, you buck cheap varmint. And why can you? Because I'm sugar cane, and I can. Today, my group will be teaching you about the chemistry of extracting sucrose from the sugar cane. Yay! I hope you enjoy the video. So, sugar cane, which when processed is responsible for giving you your table sugar that is used in 70% of the world's homes, is a tropical plant that is cousin to grass. Now, you may be wondering, how do we get sugar from a plant? Now, this happens during the process of photosynthesis, which is basically the way plants make their food. So what happens is the sunlight combines with carbon dioxide and water to make carbohydrates, which is stored in the, the, stored in the stem of the plant as food for later use. And when it's processed, well, it is broken down from carbohydrates into simpler carbohydrates known as sucrose, which is actually a combination of fructose and glucose. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of information. Now on to Ricardo Percival, who will teach you about the process. Ready? All right, good. After everybody. Firstly, the first step is extracting sucrose from sugar cane. Is that you have to cut the stalks off sugar cane. Now, as you can see, this sugar cane does not have the stalks on it because it was cut correctly or properly, wherever you want to put it. Secondly, you have to boil it in quick lime, which is basically burnt limestone um, yeah after you boil oh the reason for boiling it in that is because that it will remove the end it removed I think it will remove the enzymes inside of the sugar cane and it will not break the sugar itself good um yeah, so you boil it in. So yeah, so you boil it in. Um, ready? Good. So you boil it in quick lime so it does not break up the um, sugar crystals in the sugar cane. Yeah. The second stage of the sucrose extraction is called affination. This is where the sugar crystals are are liquefied into this type of liquor. This liquor goes through a process called carbonization, which removes the solid byproducts. Then it goes through another stage called decolorization, which gives it the white color for the granulated sugar and prepares it for the process called crystallization. Then the sugar, the liquid sugar is boiled down to, to form the sucrose crystals and they're then dried with hot air. 